Mr. Bacon gets to return home to his mother's arms. Today we celebrated his life. Instead of celebrating you know, Christopher, and, but we're celebrating Mr. Bacon's rights and his voice has been heard. And I find that our voices were shut out from the process. Even though she recognized our victim impact statement, but that did not carry any weight. And all is not lost, though, because I have, um, when Mr. Bacon got into his plea bargain deal, I wrote to the Prime Minister and I wrote to the Minister of Justice and I wrote to the Premier and the Attorney General and I've asked them to look into this case and, and how do we change how do we change laws so that families like us, innocent families like us, whose lives are so shattered, we don't have to stand at the court, at the doorstep of the courts, begging, begging for justice. This is yet not over. We're back in court October 14th because Havishak and Johnson are appealing now so I don't know what tomorrow comes but today is really really difficult to accept really difficult and I want to respect the process but I think the process is not respecting us in return